Yo, what's up, y'all? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to take a professional profile picture from your own home to change your images from looking like this to this. Okay, you guys, so for the first step, you wanna go over here in Photoshop, open your Photoshop. You wanna create a new file. I'm gonna be using a uh, thousand by thousand pixels. This is just a common profile picture size that I've always used and that a lot of people use. So you just wanna locate your picture. I'm just gonna open my picture right here. So what I recommend is posing uh, yourself against the white background and then taking the picture. Obviously, you want to have some form of light on you. It's okay if you can't. I use the tripod that I had to take a picture. You can use any other way, I guess, to hold it up or however you would like a picture. If you already have a picture that you want to use, go ahead. But it is going to be a lot easier if we already have a white background. That is one thing I'd recommend. So I'm just going to center myself here. You can tell that my body's not exactly perfectly centered. This pink line is the center line. So I want to have like my nose kind of in the center. So I'm just going to move it over just a little bit. I'm going to keep it right there. Perfect. So this is kind of where I want to keep it. You can either lower or raise where your kind of body is, but either way, that's cool. So for the second step, if you have a new Photoshop, you should have this tool right here for just remove background. Just make sure you're selected on your layer. Press remove background. It's going to remove this background, right? So it's just going to be you now. Cool. If you do not have a new Photoshop, what you can do is you want to go to your left hand. You want to right click over here on this uh, little thing right here. You want to select the magnetic lasso tool. I recommend you zoom in just a little bit. It's going to be a lot easier for you. Oh, I zoomed out. <laughs> I'm just using this left, uh, left over here, just typing in whatever size I want. So I'm just going to go around my character. I'm just going to click around the parts I want to, uh, that I want to keep. This tool is using colors to select the area you want to use. So because you have a white background, it's going to be a lot easier for to select where you are. One thing you routinely want to do is you want to like keep clicking. The clicks are kind of like saving points. As you can see, you don't want to zoom out too much or zoom in too much because you saw as I was trying to go up, it did create an error right there. Okay, so now that you have your background removed, one thing you want to do is you want to kind of remove any text you kind of have. So for me right here, it says man right here because this is the brand. Generally, you just want a clean white or a black shirt. Generally, black shirt depends on what kind of look you're going for. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this text right here. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to zoom in. I'm going to create a new layer by using this right here, this button over here. You can also just go in this top corner and just press new. Oh, also create a new layer, just press okay right there. So I'm just gonna use our, our dropper tool. I'm just gonna select a color near it. And as you see, it basically faded it away. You can make this look a lot nicer by adding like light effects to it, or even like just, like as a whole, when you're zoomed out here, you don't notice it as well. You can maybe even add like some blur to it if you really wanted to. Okay, so now that we've removed our text, you can really just keep it like this if you want to have your color person. But for the look I'm going for, I'm looking for a more black and white kind of classic look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this right side to adjustment layers. There's a ton of stuff you can do here. There's a ton of effects. There's also some presets. You can also download if you want some presets. So for example, what these presets do basically, it's just going to, it's a color correction. It's basically just going to correct the color of your whole image, right? So this is going to make myself appear more black and white. But one thing is this, my face doesn't look very radiant, right? It doesn't look very vibrant. It looks very dark. So you can mess around with these settings if you want to. Maybe you want to keep that on to keep that off. You can even go into the curves right here. You can adjust the curves to how you like. These curves basically just correlate to the settings of how the effect works, right? So another step we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. We're going to select our color white. We're basically going to be creating a light kind of layer. So I'm just going to, I'm right clicking, right clicking with my mouse and it's going to open this after I'm selected on brush. You have to be selected on your brush, which is this over here. And then I'm going to right click. I'm just going to change the size to maybe around, uh, I guess this works. Hardness on zero. It doesn't really matter which one of these you use because you can always just kind of change the effects or whatnot. So let's just stick with this one though. So we have a white color. 
just gonna press right here you see it kind of creates a light right here but i only want that on my layer i only want that on my person so i'm gonna come right here i'm gonna drag it below the layer that you have your selected image at i'm gonna create a mask create a clipping mask i'm gonna go to soft light you can go to soft light if you turn that off and turn that on you can kind of see how it looks you could also do a ton of other effects do overlay lighten this is really just preference right you have plenty of options so a lot of times i'll just go with normal and what i do is i just kind of lower it a bit just to keep it kind of clean clean looking because you don't want to do too much another thing you can do is you can also add your own personal cc's your own personal prefix your own personal effects your own personal whatnot to your image to make it look as nice as you want if you're looking for some packs if you're looking for some effects you can always just go on youtube and search up free effects for whatever editing software you have whatever photo editing video editing whatever you're doing you can always just search them up if you don't have photoshop you can always just pirate it but i didn't tell you none <laughs> But there's a ton of stuff you can do. If you don't like how dark this is, you can turn it off. You can maybe just keep it like this if you want to have a more vibrant picture. If you want to do other types of effects, you think, oh, it doesn't look that clean. This preset doesn't look that clean. You can always just go in here, add your own black and white filter. You just want to click on it. You want to drag it about. So you want to drag it out. You can change how everything's looking, how it's going to affect the colors that are in your image. All right? So we have all these settings that you do have. So whatever you do is really just up to your choice. So after all the effects that I've done, this is the final look that I'm looking at. I just kind of changed the sizing so it matched up pretty well in a circle like image. This looks pretty clean to me. I'm very happy with it. I like how it turned out. This was the look that I was going for, a more kind of black and white, clean kind of look for a professional profile picture. Always remember that you can do personally what you want to do with the image. If you have questions, if you're curious, if you want recommendations, if you want opinions, you can always just leave it in the comments below. I respond to every single comment. And I really want to appreciate you guys just for making it this far, if you made it this far. And thank you for tuning in. Let me know below if you have any more tutorials that you would like me to do. I've been working around and messing with Photoshop for numerous years. I'm not exactly a professional, but I do have some experience with these things. So let me know below. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing some love. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.